I've been thinking about that phrase that is perfect is the enemy of good. Is that is that the right phrase? Um, but so I was I was reading that, keep coming across it because when I'm like I was re researching like how to do well on YouTube, and the idea behind it is of course like if you only want to put out perfect stuff, then you won't put out anything. Hang on a second, buggy gable, gable, gable. Oh, what's he like anyway? If you only put out perfect stuff, then you, if you worry about putting out perfect stuff, then you won't put out anything because it will never be perfect and it will stop you putting out just good stuff that will still be helpful and isn't perfect, but there's some good stuff there. So this is me with no makeup and frizzy hair um, today, but hopefully we'll be good. So I've sort of applied this to cat stuff too in that, yes, if I was to draw out a perfect cat environment, then I would make it ideal. But sometimes when you tell that to owners or you give out advice that's like, right, this is how to set up the perfect environment, sometimes they can't do that stuff for, for, for good reason and that the logistics might not allow for it or it might not work for the person and their family, which is fine. Like, obviously we want to do best for the cat. That is what I'm coming in to do. But also I know it has to be sustainable and it has to work fine. So as an example is that I've had a, a, pe a person who has more than one cat but only one list tray and one of the cats was peeing outside the tray and we've made lots of changes and the problem has totally resolved but they did not add in any more trays and so I guess what they've got now is a situation like an environment that works because they haven't got the problem anymore and the cats are happily sharing and the improvements we've made in other areas have tipped the balance but they haven't added in those extra trays so it's up to me to be like look, you haven't got the perfect environment, so add in that extra tray like I asked, or two, two extra trays, or is it a job well done in that they didn't actually need that? Um, with some follow-up notes of like, if this problem comes back, here's some extra things to try, more trays being on there. So um, yeah, I guess it's just an interesting thought for me today in that it's not my job to go out and make sure every single cat I see has the absolute ideal environment because it's not sustainable or practical. And if I tell people, look, it's this or nothing, they're probably not going to do anything I say. They're probably not even going to want to work with me. So my aim is to get cats to a place. Well, my overall aim is to get cats in a, with a perfect environment. But if that's not practical, then getting them to a place where it's working for the cats and the cats are happy, then that's good enough for me. But let me know your thoughts because I know it's maybe a bit of a weird one, but uh, it was just on my mind today. But anyway, have a good day. So take care. Bye.